Hello again Sleevers, it's review time and today we're checking out the Prime Ring Binder from Gamegenic. Something a little bit different, we'll see how it does. Unlike the other binders that we have reviewed in the past, this one doesn't have its own binder pages, so a lot of the reviews we normally do aren't going to be relevant. Therefore, when we get to the end of this review, the scores are going to have to be taken in isolation and in future when we do more binder folders rather than the, the full binders with pages inside. With that being said, let's jump straight into the capacity overview. We put a load of Dragon Shield pages inside the binder and then half filled about 20 of them. Uh, 20 empty sheets and 20 half filled double sleeved sheets fitted really nicely so there was no bending or worrying really for us. We'd recommend no more than 50 double sided single sleeved full pages in the binder. If you put too much in it's going to start to inversely warp the pages of the binder uh, and you wouldn't want that. To be honest if you're filling nine pocket pages both sides with cards Putting 30 pages in a binder is over a thousand cards. Get another binder. Look after your cards a little bit better. Don't ram as many cards as you can. It's not about hitting capacity, it's about understanding where the capacity potentially is. We tested how effective the binder was at protecting the cards within by a little bit of jostling and shaking, but as previously mentioned, it's not about how good the pages are, that can vary. It's about how strong the metal is and about how kind of sturdy the general build quality of this folder is. And as you would expect, it's not a particularly hard wearing activity, so it was absolutely fine. After this, I decided to get a little bit more destructive and began to really play around with the binder. How bendy it was, how flexible it was. Um, was this a really rigid binder that would be able to put up with um, all kinds of breaking and bending? Um, and after a very short period of time, I kind of realized that this is decent strength cardboard, but it's cardboard nonetheless, and therefore, if you put enough force onto it, you can bend. You'll see me here bending both the back and front plates of this of this binder, and it, it, it wasn't difficult, and it, it did hold the bend. However, it also bent back, so it's definitely not something where you, if you accidentally dropped it and it bent a little bit, you'd be able to bend it back. It's not a problem. However, it is potentially able to be bent and, and maybe even snapped if you put uh, too much work on it. Again though, you gotta remember what the purpose of a binder is. It's to kind of keep your cards relatively flat, it's to store them in a fairly efficient way, and it's for presentation. You wanna make sure you can flick through and see what cards you've got rather than having to put them all in a box where they might get scuffed and it's harder to sort. So, you know, it's not supposed to be bomb-proof by any means, but this one, if you compare it to maybe some of the other binders you've seen out there, um, it is cardboard and so it isn't the toughest that you can possibly get. However, with that being said, the actual build quality of the folder, even if it is cardboard, um, is really nice. Uh, a lot like the other Gamegenic products we've had uh, fairly recently, uh, it's nicely stitched and it looks pretty and feels pretty premium. I would say the exterior being this lovely sort of squishy um, uh, texture, uh, this, this material is really quite nice, pleasant to touch and um, will be a little bit cushioned if you're carrying it in a backpack um, or you're, you're moving it around your house or, or LGS, um, it's gonna be pleasant to carry. And inside you've got this sort of very soft touch, almost like suede feel, um, which again is nice. The relevance of those materials really, uh, it's just for show as far as I'm concerned. Uh, a little bit of cushioning, but really it's just to make it look nice. And to be honest with you, that is a somewhat important thing when it comes to accessories. If you accessorize anything in life, it's almost entirely either for form or function. And if you can get something that is both um, function and has some nice form, why not? And I think that's kind of what this folder and many of the Gamegenic products we've had are. They are trying to be very useful while simultaneously looking quite nice. And if you've got a nice collection of cards, um, whether that's a Pokemon cards, Magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever it may be, um, or even potentially baseball cards or something like that, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have them in quite a nice display. And if you want to have them in a folder, why not make that folder attractive color or a nice feel? So this 
Obviously we've got the blue one here, it's a decent color, it's that kind of mottled um, bluey black, uh, but they do have different colors, green, red, white, and black uh, as well. If you want to organize your collection that way or you want to have it sat on a shelf with different colors, I think it'll look really attractive. So I do think there is a benefit to having this kind of effect and this kind of look. Um, so yeah, pretty good job I'd say. When it comes to price, we sell these binders at $17.95. So pretty good price. Comes in on our rough rating system at an 8 out of 10. Uh, however, we would urge you to do your own research on price. Obviously, if you can't purchase from us because you're outside the UK or maybe you've seen it, it at your LGS, always support your LGSs um, at a different price. You've got to take that into consideration. You do have to remember that you are not buying a full binder. You do need to buy the pages separately. It has its own benefit in that you can take pages out, reorganize pages, add more pages in, completely flexible system. However, uh, it does cost you a little bit more money because you do have to go out and buy the pages separately. Finally then, our last thoughts on the Prime Ring Binder by Gamegenic. It's a nice folder. It's something that I would say if you were in the market for a couple of folders, maybe you've decided to move your collection from purely boxes or piles of cards on your desk into something a little bit nicer, then yeah, getting a couple different colors of these, fo these folders, these binders could look really nice on a shelf or stacked up. Um, get some good pages. We'll do some page reviews, no doubt, in the future as we've not done any of those yet. Um, however, at this moment in time, you can't beat the main brands. Um, Dragon Shield, Ultra Pro, Ultimate Garden, Game Genic, kind of at the moment, the way you want to be looking. Um, fill it with a bunch of pages, and this one would be a decent bet. If you're after something that's kind of indestructible and uh, really tough and might last you your entire life, um, then hey, maybe there's a tougher one out there. We'll have to see. We've not done any other reviews yet. But for now, really happy with this, this binder, which is why we're selling them. So get on over to our website. Um, we really appreciate all the support we've been having recently. Our number of views on the channel has gone up, which is fantastic. We are gonna to continue to put out these weekly, either reviews or something similar. And watch out because we're gonna be looking at a couple of new series. So if you're someone who enjoys this content, you like seeing my ugly mug and chatting about things nerdy or uh, TCG related, then hit the subscribe button because you're gonna to wanna to see what else we are producing. Equally, liking videos like this really helps it get shown to more people, and we believe that these sort of honest reviews are really helpful in the long run for people, so we'd really appreciate it. Either way, thanks for watching the video, guys, and check us out next week. See you later.